All right, so I got the solution uh, for the bottle that I put there because right now it's filled with water and I thought about it that depending where you go during the winter it can go below freezing and I don't want the water to freeze so I forgot or I remembered that I had this 99.9% uh, .9 isopropyl alcohol and yeah this stuff has a super low freezing point I think it's below whatever the coldest temperature I will ever experience on the planet Earth. So this should do perfectly fine. Anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this thing out. Um, and then I'm going to pour the water to water the plants. I'll fill it up with the alcohol. And hopefully it won't eat through the bottle or anything. Because I don't want to have to try and use this kind of bottle. Um, this bottle is probably not as good. But the material, I don't know if it's going to slowly eat through the bottle. Um, as an added bonus, because the freezing point of this stuff is so low, um, if I do somehow get trapped in snow, I could technically use that to melt the snow and then pour it on there. But I don't think I'll ever run into a situation like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and pop this thing back down. Okay, we're going to pull this pin out. Come on. <laughs> this pin is like so difficult to pull out. Alright, then I got to push this forward as I pull this pin back. I'm gonna let this drop back down, okay? Now that we've got that, okay, let's see here. Let's move this closer so you guys can see. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna undo the zip tie, twist ties. Let's see, can I extend this enough that you guys can see here? Okay, so I'm gonna undo the zip ties so that I can reuse them. Just use a thin little tool here. Let's see if I can undo them because they are super tight right now. So I don't know. We'll try. Okay. I might have to undo the bottom one first. Oh, maybe I should have done that while this thing was up. Okay, let's do this first. Hopefully this won't fall on me. You can see we're going to go ahead and do this one first. Okay. So this one I can have easy access to. I'm going to pull that slightly, loosen it, get the flat end of this tool in. And this is just a um, paper clip that I kind of flattened one end to make it sharp and pointy. Alright, there you go. We got that out. Now let's go ahead and lower this down. Okay, and this. Okay. Now this video is just showing people how to reuse the zip ties <laughs> all right anyways now that we got that out we can kind of roll this forward and that makes this a little bit more loose so i have a little bit more access to it okay so now i can kind of pull this back a little bit get the tool in you kind of have to like pull it back a little to go like the next latch halfway and that way it forms a gap and you can get the thing in there go all right so now we got these two out we got this piece out let me show you how I have this burrito thingy set up if I can... okay I don't know what I was showing you guys because I was so far zoomed in but we have this thing that's kind of I just rolled it up like that okay here you can see it got smushed from there so I gotta smush it back out the other way okay Let's see if we can get it to reinflate completely. No, maybe, maybe not. Nope. Okay, not really. So I'm gonna have to find a way to kind of reinflate this thing. Ow. Okay, maybe I'll just push it back out enough. That's probably good enough. Okay. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just go water the plants with this. I'll be back. We're gonna fill this up with the rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol 100% and then we're gonna roll this thing back up in this burrito and yeah all right I'll be back okay one other thing I thought to do it's best to actually squeeze this to pump it out as much as possible so I filled with water squeezed it opened the lid so that I could let more air in filled it completely with water again and then squeezed it some more to make sure it's as compressed as possible all right anyways I'm gonna fill this I'm gonna dump this out again fill it with alcohol and I'll be back all right, so I'm back. I'm gonna extend this higher up a little bit so I have more room to work here. All right, this bottle's kind of 
inflated to the point it's going to tip over. I have two bottles. One, this one has like some gross stuff in it. Actually, both of them have gross stuff in it, but the other one I kind of skimmed it off a little bit. But uh, because I don't really care about the 100% purity of this, oops, because it's mostly just so it doesn't freeze. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pour this in. If it has dirt, it has dirt. It doesn't really matter because that's not going to affect the freezing point that much. Okay, you can see kind of how gross it is. It's not super clear. It's a little cloudy, especially since I poured it so quick. All right, we're going to get the other bottle that is a little bit cleaner. Um, this stuff, if you're wondering why it's dirty, I was like cleaning electronics with it before soaking them completely in a bag. And then I poured it back into the bottle to reuse but I ended up never reusing it so now I found a use for it so we're gonna pour this up fill it all completely okay I don't need to get it 100% 100% full but I'll get it pretty full and this doesn't um, have the effect of water where you can kind of overfill it so you don't want to fill it too high. I don't think uh, rubbing alcohol has good surface tension, so it's not going to pull itself into... Um, yeah, so I guess we're going to be have, having some trapped water, uh, air in here. Hopefully it's not leaking because there is some that's outside that just got on my hands. Um, I don't know if I should get the air out. Nah, it's fine. I'll leave the air in there. Um, it might help for me to get this on a level surface so that I can actually fill it a tiny bit higher to get as much as possible. Let's see, can I open this and not spill it? Okay, I'll try and pour a tiny bit more in just to reduce the amount of air that's in there. Okay, and again, rubbing alcohol doesn't have super great surface tension like water does. So, you can't really fill it over the top like you can with water. All right, anyways, there we go. We're going to close this up. That's a pretty good use of this old rubbing alcohol that I'll probably not really use for much except for cleaning off like marker or something. Okay, let's get all the water off this thing. We're going to wrap this thing back up. Again, like a burrito. So basically I had it like this. We just wrapped it over. And I kind of want to have it to be in the middle if possible. Okay, like that. And then while you're kind of holding it, just wrap it up like a burrito. If you want, you can tuck the bottom parts in a little bit like this. So it kind of overlaps. And then that way the outer edges are smaller. Okay, so just like that. And then... Like this. Oops, I didn't have it in the center enough. Gotta have it more centered. That way when I roll it, it's gonna be... Um, more even. Okay. Like this. And hold that. And we're gonna roll this. Alright, so there we go. We have this burrito. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the flap, the open flap here, facing the back there. Let me see if I can show you guys this a little bit better. We're going to go over here. Okay, and as you can see, I had slid this under this metal plate. Alright. And you can still see... Okay, basically we're going to have this going like that. And what we want is to find where the little notches are. So we got the smallest one here. Then this one goes towards the middle. So we're gonna put one notch there and one notch here. That's more centered. So let's go ahead and do that. Wrap this over here. Get that in the notch. Okay, get this in. And this piece, we kind of, again, want it to be flat. So this is gonna be a little tricky because you have to have it up here first to get the few notches in. Okay, we're gonna get the second one out here. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna pull this slappy over here. All right, and then we're gonna find this notch. Now it's a little bit off from last time, so I have to make sure to get it in line because we don't want it sliding around. Okay, so make sure you find where the notches are and get that lined up. Okay, and this one, there's a notch here, but that's too far, so we got this one here all the way out there. Okay. Just going back to the same place. I'm gonna get this slightly in. Sorry if my arm's in the way. Okay, we're gonna wiggle this over to the outer edge to find that notch here. There's the notch. Okay, and we're gonna get that clicked in a bit. Once we get it a few clicked in, you can kind of roll it down, make sure it looks okay, that everything is lined up. Okay, if you want it really centered, you can kind of align it better. Make sure the thing is evenly on both sides of the plate. Then we're gonna roll it back up, latch this a bit more, latch this a bit more, okay. It helps to kind of pull it down a little. Just really latch it tight, okay. All right, so that's going into the groove, perfect. That's going into the groove, perfect. And now if we roll it down, as you can see, it stays in place. And let me see if I can tighten it a bit more. And I have to go over closer to it so I have more leverage. Okay, and that's about even-ish. Okay, good. I'm gonna roll it back down. All right, so if you want, you can actually rotate um, well, my phone got too hot and it stopped recording. Basically what I was doing was I was kind of pulling this and it helped to kind of like do that as you kind of get it lined up. All right, anyways, we're gonna push this back down and then we're gonna lift the thing up and get that into place. Hopefully the sound recording is okay because um, I was rinsing my phone off to cool it down a bit as well. And uh, I don't know if that messed up and got water in the microphones. I know it got water in the speakers and that was kind of messing it up. Anyways, what we're gonna do now, uh, let me see if I can even get zoomed out enough here. Hopefully my phone's not gonna overheat again. Um, but we gotta get this pin in, and to get that pin in, as you can see, it's not pushing as far as before. So, we gotta push this forward, get that pin in, and there we go. Now we can go ahead and get this into place. Snapped it in, and here you can see, much more sturdy than before. Okay, and now that it has rubbing alcohol, I don't have to worry about it freezing. And, oh yeah, um, I should have done the other one first, but uh, we do still have to put the last zip tie in. So let's lower this down and show you guys the last one. So the last one here, I'm gonna put it this way so it's not my phone's not in the sun anymore. So we had it wrapped around the two over here. This goes over this way. Okay, and then it zips over this way. So we're just gonna zip it in. I might have to adjust it some and loosen the other one because um, I didn't, well, okay, there's plenty of room. Okay, so now we're just gonna zip this all the way. Okay, it looks like there's plenty. I don't have to loosen the other one and it should be good. So we're just gonna keep tightening this. Should I actually make it point sideways or point down? Eh, okay, we're gonna, let's see. So if I'm driving, not like it's gonna really add anything. Oh, okay, never mind. I already zipped the other one too far. So we're just gonna keep it pointing down. So it helps to kind of pull it this way and then pull it back the other way. You can see how it's zipping. Okay, and now this is actually really tight. If you want, you can keep trying and make it super, super tight. Just like this. Okay. And now that shouldn't be able to go anywhere, come loose at all. All right, that's super tight. Let me see if I can show you underneath as well. Okay, so we have this one here. And you can see underneath it's pulling those two down. 
And since it's pulling those two down, now if I take the pin back out here, okay, I'm gonna have to push this forward. I'm gonna push this forward using my head um, because I'm holding the phone. And then while I'm doing that, I can actually pull the pin out. Oops, okay. But once I let go, you can see it's no longer forward enough to put the pin in. Okay. And now that we have it like that with this, all right, hopefully the stuff isn't gonna be leaking out of this bottle. We'll find out over time. But this zip tie down here now is holding that so it can't pop back up. It's permanently stuck in that position. And we'll see what happens over time. I don't know if it's gonna, if the rubbing alcohol is gonna leak out of that bottle. Hopefully it won't. Um, but I guess we'll find out if the bottle starts becoming squishy, then we know for sure. Okay, I'm gonna push this again with my head forward. Okay, this is more difficult than last time, so let me put it back on the tripo tripod and I'll use my hand. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. It's also a little bit less wobbly this way as well. But the main thing is so when I drive forward and slow down, it doesn't like slam forward and backwards. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.